Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkenes and Hello Arenes part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's take some examples where we have to write the common and IUPAC name. We'll not discuss how to write IUPAC name because we have discussed this in class 11. How to write IUPAC name. We'll just take some examples. So let's take this guy. So for this guy, we have to write common name and IUPAC name. So what is the common name for this? So we have... Uh, 1, 2, 3, propyl and this is chloride. So the common name will be allied CN will be N-propyl chloride. Correct. And if you want to write IUPC name, IUPC name will be what? It will be, will number it 1, 2, 3. So it will be 1 chloro with it probe, all single bond propane. So it will be 1 chloro propane correct so let me change the color now this is my first let's change the color and this, try this guy ch3 ch ch3 br so let's try for the common name for this guy or i'll write c cn right so it is it will be iso because the bromine is attached to the terminal carbon it is somewhere in the middle so it will be iso 1, 2, 3 probes, so it will be propyl and bromines will be bromide. So that is the common name of this compound, isopropyl bromide. But if you want to write IUPAC name, let's do that. Let's number it 1, 2, 3. So it will be 2 bromo with a pro propane, 2 bromo propane. So it will be 2 bromo propane. That will be the IUPAC name of this compound. Let's take this compound now. So in this compound I have uh, this, this buta myth it pro but and this butyl part itself is uh, a chain one right uh, not a straight one so it will be isobutyl and the bromine is attached last so it will be isobutyl bromide. Correct. Let's write the IUPAC name. Let's number it 1, 2, 3. So it will be 1 bromo 2 methyl with a propane, right? So it will be 1 bromo. At second, I have a methyl group 2 methyl with a probe. The long chain has 3 carbon, all single bond. So it will be 1 bromo 2 methyl probe. Correct. Let's take some more examples here. So let's take this. Uh, these are my hello arenes now. This compound. The common name, we all know this compound is nothing but chlorobenzene. So the common name is chlorobenzene, one chlorine attached to benzene. Let's write IUPAC name. IUPAC name is also chlorobenzene because one chloro with the benzene. Correct. Let's take this guy. 2 chlorine. So the common name will be what? It will be at meta position. Right? Ortho para meta. This is meta position. Yeah. So it will be M di chloro benzene. This will be my common name. You want to write IUPAC name? That will be what? At, this will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3. I can number from this way also, but if I number from this way, it will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It will become 1 and 5. Now it is 1 and 3. So 1 and 3 is preferred over 1 and 5. So it will be 1 and 3. So it will be 1, 3, dichloro, benzene. Let's do for this guy. So in this case, Since it is 3, it will be sim the symmetrical tri 3 chlorines, tri chloro, and there's a benzene ring. Benzene. This is a common, and actually, there's no uh, not much concrete naming convention for common name, but for IUPC name, we have 
let's number it one two three four five six even if you number from this side it's all same it will come one two three four five six so one three and five i have chlorine so it will be what one three five three chlorine so it's tri chlorine so it's chloro and then i have a benzene so it's benzene so these are my IUPC name for these three compounds. Let's take these examples now. So I have to write the IUPC name for these. These are not very fa uh, famous compounds. I will not be able to write the common name. Let me write the IUPC name only for this compound. So let's number it 1, 2, 3. Correct. So it will be what? At first I have bromo. And then two, I have a methyl group. So again, I have a bromo and methyl. B comes before M. So I'll write bromo first. At two, I have a methyl group. So I'll write at two, two, because the two methyls, dimethyl. And the longest chain has three carbon, propane. This is my IUPC. Correct? How I got this? See, the way it works is I have bromo and methyl, right? Two substitute groups here. So bromo and methyl B comes first, M alphabetically. So I just wrote B first and then methyl. Let's take this compound. Let me write the name IUPC name here. So it is one, two, three. I can name it other way around also. Doesn't matter because it's symmetrical. So it will be two chloro. In the longest chain has three carbon, so it will be propane. So it is two chloro propane. Till now, we have been talking about monohaloalkanes where we have only one chlorine, fluorine, or bromine, or uh, any halogen, one uh, halogen. Now, we'll talk about dihaloalkanes, which has same type of halogen atoms. This chlorine, which has to be chlorine, this bromine, which has to be bromine. And they are called alkylidene or alkylene dihalides. Please note alkylene dihalides or alkylidene. The example it has two chlorine, it has two chlorines, right? So and they are further classified as geminal halides or vicinal halides. So geminal halides, if you see halogens are present in the same carbon atom, for example, in this case. Two halogens are present in the same carbon atom, so it will be geminal halide. Correct. In vicinal halide, the halogens are present in the adjacent carbon atom. Please note it has to be adjacent. If it is something like this, it is not a vicinal halide. It has to be adjacent. So it is adjacent, it is called vicinal halides. Correct. It is adjacent carbon atoms, it's called vicinal halides. So vicinal halides and geminal halides both are dihaloalkanes. They have two alkanes attached. Sorry, two halogens attached. Correct? So they are attached to the same carbon atom. It is called geminal halides. It is attached to adjacent carbon atom. Please note the same carbon atom is adjacent carbon atom. It is called vicinal halide. So this is not a vicinal halide, this is a vicinal halide. We will take some more naming convention and IUPAC name. So we have to write common IUPAC name of this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the common name will be CN. 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you draw this, chlorine is here actually. Right, just to give it a better look. Yeah, this is how it is. Correct. I mean, the structure was correct, but this is this gives me better look. So I'll have to number it. I can number it from this way or this way. If I number from this way, one, two, three. Chlorine gets third carbon. If I number from this way, one, two, three. Chlorine gets second carbon. So I'll number from this way. Correct. So for I uh, for common name, I don't need the numbering and all. This is butyl group. Right. And it is a secondary position, is sec butyl chloride. 
which is the common name for this. They want to write the IUPAC name. At second position, I have chlorine, so it is two chloro. And the longest chain has four carbon atoms, so it is but, meth, eth, pro, but, or single bond, a. So two chloro but. Let's take this guy. Write common name. Common name is if I don't draw the structure, let me draw the structure of this. This is the structure of this compound. You can add extra hydrogens, right? This is how it looks. Correct? So it is what? This is neopentane, one, two, three, four, five, neopentane. So the common name will be what? Neo. Pentyl and this is bromine, so it is bromide. This is the common name. Let's write the IUPAC name. This will give one number, this is two number, this is third number. So I have bromo group and I have methyl group. So bromo and methyl, which comes first alphabetically? B. So first let's write bromo. So bromo is at position one, so it will be one bromo. Then at two, I have two methyls. So this 2 to dimethyl. In the longest chain has 3 carbon, so this problem. Correct. Let's check for this guy. So this guy, let me draw the structure. This is CS33CBR. So I have bromine here, I have carbon here, I have carbon here, I have carbon. You can add extra hydrogen. This is how it looks. So let's write the common name. So this is Tertiary butyl, so it will be tert butyl bromine. This will be the common name of this. Let's write the IUPAC name. Let's number it 1, 2, 3. Again, bromine and methyl, which one comes first? Obviously, B comes before M. So, first we'll write for B. B is at position, sorry, this is 1, this is 2. Right? This is not a carbon. So, bromine is at first position. So it will be one bromo and one one dimethyl ethane. That's how it is. Let's take more example. We have CH two CHCl. So let's write the first common name for this. So if you see this chlorine is attached to this carbon and this carbon is a hydrocarbon, right? So this carbon itself is a double bond, double bond carbon. So it is vinyl chloride that is we have seen. This name will be vinyl chloride. This is a common name. See there is no rule for common name actually. Are you PC name? So it is chlorine, so it is one chloro, but if you add here, it had here, it doesn't matter, it's all same. So it is chloro and this will be two carbon, it double bond, ene. So it will be chloroethene. You can say one chloro, one ethene, but doesn't matter because chloroethene you can make, the, it has to be in the same form. Right? So if it is Propene or butene, in that case, you have to specify the location of chlorine and the uh, double bond. But in this case, it's only one possibility, so it is not required. Correct. Let's take this example. I have CS2, CH, CS2, Br. So this is my hydrocarbon, and this hydrocarbon is, is attached to a double bond. So it is allylic bromide, right? So it will be, common name will be. Allylic bromine. Let's write the IUPC. So it will be what? Let me number it. So this is my double bond. I'll give you the priority of double bond. One, two, three. So it will be three bromo, meth, eth, pro, with the double bond. Pro, one E. So three bromo. O, one e. Correct. Let's take this guy CS2Cl2. 
So CH two Cl two, my common name is methylene chloride. Again, there is no rule for common name; just the way it is called. For IUPAC name, we have how much? Two chlorine to a methane, so it will be dichloro, and it is to a methane, so dichloro methane. Let's talk about this guy, CaCl. So for CaCl3, also the common name is chloroform. Why it is chloroform? There is no rule; it is just the way it is called by scientists. Let's write the IUPAC name. For that, we have a rule. There are three chlorine to a carbon. This is how it is. Cl, 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 and H. So three chlorine. So it is trichloro. And I have only one carbon. So it is meth. All single bond in. So it is trichloro methane. Thank. Thank you. Visit examfear. dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.